how are you doing guys I had to make another short little video today um, even though it's getting a bit late in the day and I look pretty crap the air needs washing I've got bags under my eyes this new energy that is, is really hard to integrate but anyway I've got something to say it relates to the energy right now we're right in the full moon in Cancer which really enables us to really feel connection to our community you know to the planet to our roots to our mother you know if you're really embracing the energy you know there's plenty of tears there's joy there is you know there's a real love in the air you know and the higher that you of a vibration that you are the more unconditional and, and bigger and purer that love is but even though you might be vibrating at a high level we also have Neptune conjunct Venus so there's so much love in the air it's unbelievable Neptune is a really high vibrational form of unconditional love but there's also a lot of disillusionment with Neptune it is the classic for disillusionment and almost like a drunken beautiful you know like mysterious love and when it buddies up with its lower octave its smaller sister venus which is all about love and relationships reciprocity if that's a word shared emotions empathy then with the full moon energy that we've got now then potentially there is and with cancer being about the past there is a tendency to reminisce at the moment Reminisce through rose-tinted glasses about the past, about past relationships. And because things are tough at the moment for a lot of people, because there's so much energy to shift, there may well be creeping thoughts about, well, I deserve more, I deserve better, I don't feel loved. I feel love and I want this love. You know, I'm crying out for this love, but... I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it off my partner. And and you may well be right. You may well be wrong. But with this combination, there there is a recipe for the potential disaster because we may well be looking through rose-tinted glasses. And it's just important to take a breath in. Yeah. And just to take one day at a time. Okay. And to really sort of like be thankful of the relationships that you've had in the past and what they brought you the lessons that they brought you and all those people that you've been in relationships with have been mirrors at that particular moment in your life that have enabled you to grow even despite all of the pain and the suffering and the, and the extrication that you may have well felt where the relationship went sour yeah these emotions and these memories are having to be relived. With this new energy, timelines are starting to come together for us to truly grow and understand our own innate power as creators. So, and a lot of that is developing our emotional faculties because humanity emotionally is, is just, um, as a generalisation, is a child. So, you know... Make sure, if you're feeling this way, make sure you check out with a friend and you get it off your chest. And just before you do anything rash, just just make sure that you get, you, you've get you got a sounding board there. And for past loves that you've had, you know, just be thankful and be present. Okay? And love the one that you're with right now as much as possible. And just go with it until events may change out of your hands. But generally, this emotional catharsis and this emotional upgrade that we're getting is really beneficial and is really needed. And um, me, I, I, for one, you know, I'm going to say it is so intense at the moment. But, you know, it's what humanity is all about, man. You know, it's about experience real strong experiences in having to move on and when you can fully accept your past and resolve grievances from the past and past relationships 
and understand that everything for everything a reason yeah so no fear for everything a reason then you can come to a really really strong place right here and now in a situation that you're in right here and now with your partner and your children and your family yeah and that the way you look at them and the way you act with them can transform them and can and can transform you okay so that's it for tonight the full moon on thursday evening will subside over the next couple of days venus will move on from v from jupiter sorry venus will move on from neptune things will subside and get a little bit easier on the emotional reminiscence you know loving memories rose into glasses so just hang on in there yeah and things you know things may well become clearer Okay, I love yous. Take it easy.